Hi guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with my makeup already done um, because I just filmed my everyday makeup routine um, but I thought I'd do an intro with my makeup on. I just hate doing intros with no makeup on. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I've been getting so many questions ever since, ever since my birthday haul on what is like my everyday go-to makeup routine and this is basically it. Have fun watching. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start off just by putting a bit of lip balm on my lips and this is actually the Dior Lip Sugar Scrub. I love this stuff and while I'm doing my makeup, I just like my lips to feel nice, you know what I mean? Let you toast like mint chocolate. chip. I'm now gonna prime and for primer, I like to use YSL primer. However, I've nearly run out of it. So <laughs> what I have to do is just screw off the lid and just literally try and scrape some out and then pop it on my face. I probably should buy a new one soon. YSL Tusha Clap Primer, I wanna say. It's like really nice and mattifying and it just makes your skin feel really like poreless. I'm just gonna blend all of that into my skin. I love the idea of wearing dewy primers. However, my skin, it just doesn't cooperate with dewy makeup. My makeup ends up looking dewy anyway at the end of the day because my skin can get quite oily. Guys, my hair is really getting on my nerves. I might just go grab like a hairband. I'm back and I look really strange with this headband on, but... Oh my God, I look like Alice in Wonderland. Right, I'm gonna move on to foundation now. Um, I use the Giorgio Armani Powder Fabric Foundation. Um, this is their matte version of the Luminous Silk. I really, really like the finish of it. The shade looks so dark in the bottle. Um, and that is just because when I'm tanned, I like to go dark with my foundation and then lighten it up with concealer. Um, so yeah. And then I just like to blend all of that out with my Clinique foundation brush. Okay, my foundation is now done and I look so strange. Is it just me? I look really weird, I look like an alien. Okay, I'm moving swiftly onwards to my concealer. The concealer that I like to use is the All Nighter by Urban Decay. I've been using this for so long now. I'm really surprised it hasn't run out yet. Because if you watched my video in spring, which was my Get Ready With Me, I used this and it's still like... It doesn't feel like it's going to be empty anytime soon, which is really weird. It's like the never ending concealer. But I really like this concealer. Very nice coverage. Blends very easily into the foundation. It's like a good shade as well. Let's pop this under my eyelids. That is the only place I actually conceal. I go blend that out with the same brush that I use for my foundation. This look isn't what I would do every single day because I do go to school. However, on weekends, this is my like go-to look. Um, like if I'm going out for the day, like shopping or something, this is what I would be doing. Um, for school, I don't really tend to wear that much makeup. If I do, it's just like a bit of mascara and eyebrows. That's literally it. Um, but for weekends, this is my like go-to look. I don't know if I've ever spoke about this product on my channel, but I absolutely love it, like so much. So basically, it is this cream bronzer from Chanel. It is called their Bronzing Makeup Base, Soleil, da Soleil Tan de Chanel. You can really tell I'm not succeeding in GCSE French right now. It's a cream bronzer. I really need to get a new one. I love this so much. It's definitely got to be like one of my holy grail products. I really recommend it. It's so nice for the summer as well, because it just you can just pop it on and just like zhuzh it around and it's just, yeah, it's a very, very nice product. I just use this to bronze up my face, not that I really need any more bronzer because, you know, I look like an orange already. And then I will do my powder just to set all my face in. This is the Chanel Powder Universal Libre basically their translucent powder um and yeah sometimes if i'm feeling extra i will use the little powder puff they give me only thing i really really dislike about powders like l any loose powder is these little holes they give you right they just don't do anything like i can't get to my powder like what are you doing a Fancy doing eyebrows next. I'm gonna do some my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer. I'm just gonna literally fill them in. Right, 
So what I have to do is here is where I get to this little bit, I try and blend it out because I don't want it to look like a block. Okay, so whilst I was off camera, I did my eyebrows and I used the setting gel from Island. I am aware I look quite strange right now with these eyebrows. I know I'm going to get comments. <laughs> Please don't comment about my eyebrows. I like them this way. Okay, next I'm going to move on to doing a little bit of eyeshadow. I don't really like to do too much. I like to just give myself a bit of something. It's like a bit of definition, but not like an eye look i wouldn't call it an eye look i literally just put like two shades in my crease and that's it the palette that i'm going to be using is the tartlet in bloom palette i've been using this for so long now but i just love it so much it's got well it's literally got any shade you could ever wish for and it's just yeah i just really like it so what i normally do is i mix the two shades jet setter and smarty pants and um, which are just the like browns just so that there's something there if that makes sense and it's not just like bald eyelid So now that's done, that was quick, that was easy, that was simple. I am going to move on to doing a bit of bronzing again. Sorry guys, you know how I feel about bronzer. And the one that I'm going to be using today is the Chanel. This bronzer has lasted me so long. So if you're looking for a long lasting bronzer, head to Chanel. Um, this one is the Lumiere Diet. It's meant to be an illuminating powder, but I wanted like a glowy bronzer. And she sold me this, which... Is amazing and i just like to apply this to my cheekbones i sort of contour with it even though you're not meant to really contour with bronzer um but yeah i just use it to bronze up my face basically okay so now that my face is all bronzed up i think i'm going to move on to highlight the highlighter that i love so much is the becca champagne pop um it's this gorgeous like champagne color as you may have guessed um i've been using this for so long it's definitely one of my holy grail products and just to make it a bit more like shimmery more than shimmery more than chalky if that makes sense um a trick for any highlighters i would use is to spray some like any kind of spray even just water like if you had a water spray you could just spray it on your brush and i feel like it just picks up the color differently to how like just a dry brush would and yeah so here is the brush I'm just going to give it a little spritz. I mean, just look at that. Put a little bit on the tip of my nose. I would not normally apply that much, but that's just how it came out. And I'm not going to lie, I do really like it. So yeah. But I love to use the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. This has been like my holy grail for like a year. I will not buy any other mascara apart from this. I love it so much. It not only like volumizes them, but it also makes them look really like thick as well. I just love this so much. But look how long that's made my eyelashes look. It's just insane. Okay, so that is my mascara done. It's made such a huge difference to my eyelashes. I don't know if you guys can see, but that is just incredible. And then if I'm in the mood, I will apply some eyelashes. But I apply the tiniest little eyelashes like onto the corners of my eyes. I did that in my last few videos, which were... The birthday vlogs however today for some reason my eyelashes feel really long if on a normal day my eyelashes end up ended up looking like this i would not be applying them i think it just looks so nice it makes applying eyelashes so simple and i think it's the best way to like get some practice out of it so what i do is i cut like the tiniest little bit off of an eyelash like you can get like five pairs of these out of one eyelash and i just put them on the corners of my eyes and it really accentuates them that is my top tip for someone that's like just starting to wear eyelashes because literally all you've got to do is just pop it on put the glue on wait 30 seconds pop it on and it, it just enhances your face in like a natural way and the more you do that it'll actually become easier to apply the longer ones but my top tip for just applying eyelashes in general is to make sure you trim them because they come so long and that's not the length of most people's eyelashes. So yeah, that's my top tip. The lip gloss I like to use is the Dior one in the shade So Real. I also like the shade Princess, but I ran out of that one. Then I'm good to go. So this is my everyday makeup routine like for the weekend and stuff. Hope you all like this video. Give it a big thumbs up make sure you also check out my main channel it's with my best friend and i will link it down below see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.